Hey, Flippy Size here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys all the new features of Android 4.0.4 Ice Cream Sandwich on my Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch from Sprint. This update was just released yesterday and is going to be continued to be released until up to July 20th, and that's when they think everybody should have it. So, let's get started. One of the first differences that you'll notice is the lock screen. Well, first of all, it has the same clock, but now you can also have the weather on it, as you can see. And now on the lock screen, instead of it being a photo and you move it to unlock it, you can touch anywhere you want to, and then just swipe and it'll unlock. Another main difference that you're going to notice is the look of the phone. Now, not drastically, but you'll notice at the top here that there's this Google search bar, and it's not a widget that I put, because as you can see, it's on every single page, and it doesn't move. Also, you will see down at the bottom, the home button is now this little ice cream sandwich one, which there's also a visual difference here. As you can see, when you swipe, it has this nice transition and it's very smooth but now instead of adding a widget by holding and then selecting widget see this is choose wallpaper the new way to add a widget is you have to go into your app drawer and either swipe past all the apps or just click on widgets and then you'll see all your widgets here like AccuWeather or AP Mobile News and then say if you want to add one, like say if I want to add um, the flashlight app or Google Posts, I'll just hold it, Google Plus Posts, and then I'll just put it on to where I want it. And then you have to set it up from there. But that's the new way to add widgets. But you can also delete them the same way by holding and then dragging up, which it's not a trash can anymore. It's an X that says remove. Another difference between Ice Cream Sandwich and the previous Gingerbread version is the YouTube application. Not only the look, but the whole functionality. So as you can see here, it has my channel feed. And it has this new option to where you can enable preload for an uninterrupted playback. So what that is, is it actually has all your videos loaded from your subscriptions so you can watch them even when you don't have internet or data so as you can see here here's my channel feed of the person I'm subscribed to and there's my videos and if you swipe right you come to this selection kind of like the Facebook application so then you can like go to your channel and you can check everything such as your uploads and all that stuff, all the uploads that you've done. And, oops. See, the thing that's confusing is you think that you have to click back again to go here, but you just swipe. Then you can add channels, view your subscribe channels, Roller Coaster Gym, he's awesome. Then you can go to recommending, trending live, and all the other ones, all the different genres and categories that you want. Another difference is the actual menus on the phone. So if you press the menu button here, usually it comes up with like a grid that you can choose. Well now, it comes up with these little like buttons. <laughs> and you can choose from there. They also added a manage apps button. So now, you can go to your manage applications. They also change the look of this. Now, as you can see, it starts on all instead of starting on downloaded, which these are all the ones that you've downloaded. And then there's on SD card, running, and all, which before they're in a little bit different order, but besides that, it's pretty much the same thing. And if you go into an application, it looks the exact same. So, yeah, so the manage applications is pretty much the same except for the order of the tab. Also, lists of recent searches has also been changed. So if I click the search button down here and open the Google search, as you can see, it's now black instead of white. And that's the same thing for in the Play Store or YouTube. As you can see, 
once I go to search C, and it doesn't cover up both sides and it ends right there. It doesn't continue all the way down. Next up is the keyboards, but there might be an error when you update your phone and swipe may not work. So let me show you how to fix that. You can either, you need to click down on the menu button and you need to click system settings or manage apps. Manage apps will bring you right to it. Or you can go to system settings, then go to applications, and then you'll be here. Then you want to go to all, and you want to go down to swipe, which it is, it does come with the phone, and you go down to swipe, and then you're going to click on it, and you're just going to click clear data. That's what I did, and it now works. And the reason I was going so careful on the listings is because it's really touchy now. I'll show you. So if you swipe a little bit too fast, as you can see, it just flies really fast, which, oh, maybe it doesn't, nope, see, if I just do a little bit too fast, it will go really, really fast. See, just a little bit too hard, and it goes really fast, which I don't really mind, but a lot of people have been complaining about that. Now let's go ahead and get into the keyboards. So the first keyboard I'm going to show you is the swipe. As you can see, it does look much different from the previous gingerbread version. And how swipe works, if you guys don't know, is say if I want to write the quick brown fox was stoked, instead of typing out each letter, you just put your finger on one and then drag to the other. So like that, V, and you don't even have to, see I messed up, but you don't even have to click space. You just keep going like that. The quick brown fox, I'm not very fast at this, but was stoked. And as you can see, it is very accurate, as you can see. Also, another feature with the keyboards is when it's running, instead of you having to like hold down and then clicking select input method, you just swipe down on the notifications and there'll be a notification saying select input method. Then you can switch to the default keypad or swipe, and here's the default keypad or keyboard. So as you can see, it's really nice, it looks nice, it feels nice, and it's really accurate too. I really like the look of it, and it does have voice recognition, recognition, I believe. But yeah, sorry, I just clicked the home button. So I'll show you. So say if I want to write, um, hi, my name is Chase. Hi, my name is Chase. And as you can see, hi, my name is Chase. Sometimes it'll get it exactly, but as you can see, there's a lot of words that are close to it. So yeah, then you can just choose it, and there you go. Another thing that has been changed is the wallpapers. Now, I didn't think they were going to be changed, but they did. So if you go to wallpapers gallery, here's the old ones from Gingerbread. But if you go to wallpapers, here's all the new ones for ice cream sandwich. As you can see, they look very nice and they're very high quality. And they come in all different colors, so if you want different colors, then you can do that. And it comes with a lot. It seems like a lot more than gingerbread did. Another change that I don't know why I didn't mention earlier is the menu, like the settings. If you go to system settings and go to the top, as you can see the Wi-Fi there and 4G and Bluetooth, there's now toggles. And then if you want to view like Wi-Fi networks, you have to click on Wi-Fi. And um, then you can go data usage and it shows how much data you've been using. And then that's where you have to turn on and off mobile data. And then you can click more, which will bring you into like airplane mode, keys, and things like that, or keys. Besides that, call settings and all these things are the same, except they added a battery. So you can see how many minutes or how much time, how many hours is on your phone, what percent it's at, and then what's eating up your phone mostly, the battery. So then you can see what's causing it to drain. Then they uh, change, I think they changed the icon of location services, and... Yeah, and then they added like developer options and system updates not in about phone. And so, yeah. Now, while we're, we're in the settings, I want to go ahead and show you a couple things within the settings. Now, as you can see, here's the swiping. How you can see it goes really fast with the, just a little bit too hard. So you have to go nice and easy, which I don't mind because I don't really care. 
<laughs> but yeah, the first thing that I want to show you guys is the security for your lock screen. Now, as you can see, you can have no lock screen, you can have a slide, which I have, or you can have face lock, pattern, or pin, which, yes, you heard me right, face unlock. I'm going to show you this. So it wants me to set it up. So let me see if I can get it. Um, let me set it up real fast. Oh, okay, perfect. So you just kind of like stare at it and smile or make a weird face or whatever. But you keep it in the lines until it gets your face down. And so then you're going to click continue. And then it'll say if it doesn't work, you know, I'm just going to do pattern, which. Sorry, keep my pattern safe. Okay. And then it'll say you're all done. And now if I lock it, here, let me just turn it down. As you see, it'll come to this and it'll activate the lock screen. Now it's looking and see, can't recognize, so then it'll go to this. But if you aim it at my face, as you can see, boom, just like that. It works amazing. Another thing I want to show you guys in the settings is a little Easter egg. Now if you go down to the bottom to about phone, and then you go to Android version and you rapidly tap it a few times, it'll come up with your wallpaper and the Android dude in an ice cream sandwich. As you can see, that's not a glare, that's the ice cream in the ice cream sandwich. Then, you can screen capture it or whatever, and then if you hold it down, it'll pop up, and then boom! You get Nyan Cat Ice Cream Sandwich Android person, people. And it's just a fun little thing to do. As you One thing that they changed, you might have noticed, maybe not, is if you look up here in the top corner here, I'm trying to get it clear for you, it's really small. But on the battery, they added percentage. So I don't know if you can see it. Maybe if I adjust the brightness, which you can just slide to adjust brightness. Maybe brighter or less bright. Okay. Um, I can't really get it. But if you see, it says 98%. But yeah, you can turn that on and off in the settings. Also, notifications. Notifications, which you just swipe down. They've changed that a little bit. They changed the look of the 4G icon or toggle. And so they changed the look of that. And oh, the one thing that I really like is before it might you could only change the volume by the down button, and you could go all the way down to vibrate. You could not put it into silent mode unless you went into settings. Now, if you click, then there's no vibrate, no sound, nothing, and that really makes me happy because before they didn't have that. Also, in the notification bar, uh, say if you have a notification you don't want, you can just swipe it off and it'll go away, which I don't really want to swipe any off, but yeah, you just swipe it off and it'll go away. Instead of having to clear all of them, which that is really handy. Also, another change they made is in the phone and contacts application. Before, you could access both the phone and the contacts by like opening phone and then on the top tab, clicking contacts and vice versa but now they're two separate ones completely. As you can see, you have the same dial pad, as you can see, and you have uh, incoming and outgoing calls and favorites. Now I'm probably gonna block that out for the numbers, but so yeah, then you can see you have favorites and stuff. And if you go into contacts, then you have, well, as you can see, you can swipe right on a contact to make a call, swipe left to make a message, and so yeah, you have the contacts, you have groups, and you have favorites. Another cool thing they added is they improved the camera application. So if you just go into camera, as you can see, it looks the same. And you can still click on your photos from there. You can switch to video and photo. And you can tap to focus. And then if you go into settings, uh, you have all these settings which came with it, which most of them did, which now you have uh, one thing that I noticed that you have now is under uh, shooting mode, you now have panorama, which I'm going to try and do this a whole. So I just took a panorama of my the back of my house, and as you can see, it came out like this. I had to take a total of eight photos, and it looks weird, but um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how you're supposed to do it, but I think it came out bad because, well, this came out good this whole part but then here there's a wall like right behind me and then the room so it's really weird how it works but you now have panoramic mode which is really cool for getting 
like big long photos of something that would be usually too big to get in one photo which that's really cool they also added better gmail int integration and application so if you go into gmail so as you can see it like it looks different and it tells you how many new emails you have yeah I never check my email just kidding I do I just never read them then you can like compose search tag and I got another one uh, okay Twitter anyways so as you see it looks different and the widget I think looks different I never had a widget before but you can check all your emails right here which is really handy especially because how small the widget is it is really really handy and I really like it oh I just got 25 new messages this is a perfect time to show you if you don't want an app a notification. So say you just, I don't want this 25 new messages, I just hold and I just swipe away. So now, say if you go into your gallery, this is also improved camera. Say if I want to edit my photo of my leaning tower of peace tea, woo, you just go to more and then you can go to edit and it has all these different features and all these different things that you can do and it's amazing because you can actually select an area and you can actually put it on a different photo which is really really cool also if you hold down the home button instead of a little box with your most recent apps coming up it comes up with this like list panel graphic thing I don't know what you would call it a scrolling list let's call it that and you have all these things and I don't think these are the ones that are running because if you still have the task manager option because if you go in there you see all these ones that are running if you click X at all it says if you force an app blah 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 uh, then you go back and you hold they're all still there even task manager which if you don't want it you can just swipe left or right uh, swipe swipe to get rid of them and yeah also if you want a good way to like organize your favorite applications then download this thing called swipe pad it's free and it's really cool you just hold right here and then drag away and you can have your applications all right here even quick post to Facebook or Twitter so if you open like that you can also still take a screenshot by holding down the home button and the power button just like that that's how you take a screenshot thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed those are all the features that I can think of so yeah I hope you like them and please like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter the links will be down in the, the description box below and I am also ad supported which I seemingly forgot to told you guys so please there should be an application an ad not an application an ad right down like along the bottom of the video so please if you would just click on it and then exit out of the browser by clicking the X of course that will help me out tremendously and I will be able to give you guys free things such as gift cards and other things in giveaways thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next video please like comment rate and subscribe please do it for me.